Yes, we're gonna draw a really cool otter. Yeah. 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 All right, little man, you got your marker? Yeah. We hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. How old are you now? Four. Yeah, you turned four, huh? You're not three anymore. <laughs> yeah, so this is gonna be a fun activity to do with young artists, right? Uh-huh. Yes, and we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're gonna use shapes and simple lines, right? Uh-huh. All right, you ready to start? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, Austin, we're gonna start with his head. We're gonna start with the otter's head, and we're gonna draw a really simple shape. We're gonna draw a circle, okay? Yeah. And we're gonna start right here in the left side of our paper, and we're gonna draw a circle. We don't wanna draw it too big. But we don't want to draw it too small because we want him to have a good size head, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a crazy shape. I need to do the dot. Oh, you want me? Okay, this is where we're going to start. We're going to start the circle right there, okay? And we'll draw a big, not too big, but a circle like that. Like that big. I got a little wobbly on mine. That's good. Good job. That is a really good circle. You did awesome. We're going to draw his nose, and it's going to be a little diamond shape, but it's going to be a round kind of a roundish diamond shape. So watch this, we're gonna draw a diamond shape like that. So I'll put some points so we can make a diamond, okay? So we're gonna draw a line to there, and there, and then there, and then there, okay? Can you connect all those dots? Good, and then connect the next one. Good job. Good job, and then connect right there too. Perfect, that's awesome. And then let's color it in, okay? Good job, little man. All right, now we're gonna draw an upside down Y. Do you know what a Y looks like? Do you remember yeah. what a Y looks like? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a line down from his nose. So draw a little line right there. Good, and then we're gonna draw an upside down V to connect it, like that. Up and then down. And then down from right here, we'll draw a line from there to there. Yes, good job. So that's an upside down Y. If we were to turn it around like that, look, it's a right side up Y, huh? It looks like a regular Y. If it was like that, it looks like a Y, huh? The letter Y. Okay, so let's draw, now let's draw his eyes, okay? We're gonna draw a little circle right next to his nose and color it in. Yes, good job. And then we're gonna do another one right here next to this one. Perfect. Okay, he's missing some ears, don't you think? <laughs> okay, so let's do a little C shape. We're gonna draw right here. A little C shape right here. Good job. And then let's draw another C shape on this side, but backward C shape on that side. Good. And then let's draw a little circle in here. And we can color that one in, and a little circle on this side, and color that in. Perfect! You did it! We did his head! He's all done with his head. You got a little sniffles, huh? Yeah. Are you sick? Yeah. <laughs> all right, okay, now we're going to draw his body, and we're going to draw him like he's floating on his back, okay? So we're going to start on this side, and we're going to draw a big U shape. It's going to come down from his head. I'll show you. You want me to draw you a little point, or do you want to do it by yourself? I want to do it all by myself. Oh, good. I'm glad. Start down there, and then come back up over to here. Yes. Good job. And then you can stop, or you can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, we're gonna stop. We're gonna. I stopped right here, and so that's okay. You went a little farther. <laughs> all right. So we'll make it work, huh? Won't we? Yes, we will. All right, okay. Now we're gonna draw his belly and it's gonna come over here. We're gonna draw a line that connects to that line. Okay, and you can connect it up there if you want. Yes, good job, okay. And then we're gonna keep going and we're gonna draw his tail. So we're gonna come out here and then we're gonna loop back like this for his tail. Mm -hmm. We could draw, you could start there. And if you wanna draw a curved tail, you could draw a curved tail that comes over here. Yep, and then a line that comes back in. Good job, Austin. That's awesome. Give me five. All right, okay, now let's draw his first arm. He's missing some arms and legs, huh? Okay, we're going to draw, it's kind of a P shape. We're going to draw a line that comes up to his head and curls around like that. Okay, let's start at this point, okay? 
We'll start right there and we're going to come up. Do you see this shape like this and come around? So we'll come around and we're going to draw a big P shape that comes to that point. We'll come up over here and then loops around. Yes, you did it. That's perfect. And then we're going to do the other line on his arm like that. So we can start there and we can draw a point to that. Good job. Then let's draw his fingers. We're going to draw one, two, three. We're going to draw three lines right here. One, two, three. Good job. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his other arm so that it looks 3D, okay? Let's draw a little rainbow line like that. Let me draw a little rainbow line right there. Good. And then it can connect into his body. Good job. All right, let's draw his back leg, okay? So we're going to draw a big curved line. This We're going to draw another C shape. And let's start up here. Let's start right here. We're going to draw a C shape that touches his toes right there or his fingers and then comes around and then connects into his back. So let's draw a C shape right here. We'll start there and curve around right to there. Draw a C. Yes. And then into his back. You did it. And then we're going to draw the his toes or the front of his, let's see, the bottom of his foot. So we'll draw a curve that goes to there and to there. <laughs> oh, good job. And then let's draw three more lines. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. You did it. And then let's do another one. I will do his back leg on the other side over here. So let's draw a curve that goes up to there. Yeah, and then we'll connect it back down his belly and then you can put a little toe on there too i'm just gonna put one line right there <laughs> good job you want to put a little toe line on that one too <laughs> we did it man we drew him we drew a little otter and he's sitting on his back huh is that fun you promised you had fun yeah yeah good job well we could draw more of the background if we wanted to but we're gonna leave him like just like this and our art friends can draw the background but do you want to color them yeah all right let's get our colors picked out all right awesome the colors that we're going to use for our otter is yeah. going to be a brown and then a lighter brown okay yeah so we're going to use the light brown first you want to get yours and we're just going to we're going to color his head a light brown just like this and the reason why is because sometimes a lot of otters they have really light heads and then their bodies are a lot darker huh do you think otters are cool? Yeah. They were funny, huh? Uh -huh. We were looking at them on YouTube and on Google, and we were looking up baby otters, huh? Uh -huh. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the otters. That was the, that was the elk. That was kind of real. <laughs> that was the elk, not the otters. <laughs> we were looking up elk, too, because I did a drawing. <laughs> I did a sketch, one of my... The daily sketch was for a uh, elk and they were making weird noises weren't they mm. yeah that was not what the baby otter was making <laughs> yeah something <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right you got your head colored in or should we fast forward it we'll fast forward it okay we'll fast forward it All right, awesome. We got our his head color. Do you want to color his ears too? Yeah. Let's color his ears with the light with the light brown, and then we'll switch to our our darker brown. Good job, Austin. We did it. We got his head all colored. Okay, now we're gonna use the darker brown, and we're gonna color the rest of his body. Okay. Let's fast forward. You ready? Right now. Now. Austin, good job on your otter, man. You did awesome. Yeah. What was your favorite part? The head. The head? All of it. All of it. <laughs> that was my favorite part, too. But you know what my super favorite part is about your drawing? Yeah. Is that it looks different than my drawing. I think it's cool that your drawing doesn't look exactly the same as mine. Yeah. Yeah. Because what's the most important thing? To be, to have fun. Yes, to have fun. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. 
And we hope you guys had a lot of fun with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. <laughs> Good job, man. You did awesome. Uh, <laughs>